Welcome to another video of SyncBricks. This video is a comprehensive tutorial of Docker desktop on Windows 11. You go here to docker.com, the first page. So Docker desktop, you can download it from here. I'll simply click this and it will download the installation package. It is fastest way to containerize the applications. You can manage the Docker extensions easily. You can manage the volumes easily. And of course, it is secure from the start. And of course, it is Kubernetes ready application for your desktop. So I have been using Docker engine on Linux for a long time, but I discovered that uh, Docker desktop is uh, much reliable and faster. Docker has also given the side by side comparison of the Docker desktop versus DIY with the Docker engine. So if I talk about uh, the cloud native application development, the OCI compatible uh, container runtime, and it is also compatible with uh, deploying the images from desktop to AWS and Azure. See here, Docker desktop is compatible here. When you install Docker desktop, so docker compose is also installed at the same time so if i talk about integrated kubernetes real time and kubernetes load balancer it is also integrated there so now you can see here uh, right now uh, cloud native application development tools are available in docker desktop similarly if i talk about linux vm so when you are installing a microsoft wsl2 uh, linux distribution on your windows environment docker supports uh, that as well so when we talk about integrated with new apple hypervisors so docker desktop is uh, available on that as well if i talk about security so there are automated patches which are directly downloaded on docker desktop so if i talk about all development tools like uh, docker engine kubernetes cli built and so most of the times you are using docker compose so it is already installed when you install docker desktop this is a great side by side comparison which uh, docker has provided on docker desktop versus diy with docker engine uh, so this will help of course everyone who is not the developer but who still wants to use a docker desktop so now we'll continue with the installation let me take you to the installation and understand how we can do the installation there are some prerequisites that you must take care of so we'll go to docs and here we'll click on get started get started on docker for docker desktop for windows so here are some system requirements first of all so you need to download the wsl2 backend support uh, so how you will be doing it if you click here on documentation you will see here how to install the wsl so you need to make sure that your wsl version is 2 and here is docker desktop installer click yes and it will run the wizard just wait for the installation to complete right now the version is docker desktop 4.20.1 All right, here you can see the installation has successfully completed. You might get a notification saying that WSL2 is required for this installation. I have created a video for installing WSL2 on Windows. So follow the link in the description below in case you are stuck with that. Starting Docker engine. So we'll just wait for this. I will highly recommend you to download the Visual Studio code. Visual Studio Code is code editor. It makes code editing very simple and very easy. Download for Windows. All right, so I'll finish this setup here. Let us first understand the environment here. Uh, here I'm logged in with my user ID right now. So my account setting, if you see here in Docker Hub, I can get the images from Docker Hub. But don't worry about that. First of all, you need to see here. Uh, containers so all the containers which will be running you will see here there is no container right now so there are no images right now available uh, of course i can create a new dev environment to start developing the containers but right now i'm not doing that and docker scout also i'm not going to use that uh, start learning about the uh, beginner language for the docker whether it is node.js python go or any language that we talk about depending upon what type of extensions you are looking for you can download the extensions from here and now we can use of course the command line tool in windows so i'll be going here to cmd run as administrator we can run all the docker commands from here docker version and if i talk about the operating system architecture it is linux amd4 so if i check docker compose version 2.18.1 docker compose is already installed and right now down here you can see that docker engine is running and ram right now is being used is uh, 2.31 now let us talk about creating the container from docker compose so if you remember we downloaded visual studio code open visual studio code here and i'll create a new file we need to first of all see that where the docker compose will be stored so 
I can create any folder. So here is my Docker folder. Inside my Docker folder, I'll be creating a folder called Syncprix. Inside this, I will create the file called uh, docker-compose.yaml. So I'll go here, create a new file in Visual Studio Code. It will be a text file and the text file language will be yaml so i'll just go here yaml and right now i'll not do anything here i'll just save the file docker here is my sync bricks and here i'll save it as docker dash compose so inside this i need to now create my stack i need to create my containers images and all of that first image that i'll be downloading will be hemdel on docker hub so I'll look for the compose. So I'll copy this from here and I'll paste it to my Visual Studio code here. I can make the changes to this. Here is the version of Docker Compose. So right now, as I mentioned, the Docker version is Docker Compose version, which is 2.18.1. So I'll be doing 2.18. So in services, my first service, which will be running will be Hamdel. So container name is Hamdel. In case you want to make the changes, you can change it here. And from where the image will be uh, downloaded, so image source is uh, Linux server, Hamdel latest. And then this is the path here for the volume. You can, of course, create the volume separately here also. But right now, we'll go with the same configuration. Its external port is 80 and internal port is 80. So internal port, you should not change it. External, you can change depending upon your needs and requirements. And here, 443 is the port for HTTPS and how the container has to restart so it will automatically restart I'll now just save this file here which is my docker compose and I'll go back here and before that I'll just show you the docker here so right now if you see here there is no image and there is no container first of all I need to locate to my folder I'll cd space data and in data I created the folder called docker yeah, so it all depends where your folders are stored and inside docker i created syncprix or you can look for the directory and shows you syncprix so i'll open cd space sync bricks and now in this directory i have this docker compose dot yaml so what i'll do here i'll type in docker compose up once i type in docker compose up you can see here it does the pull command first you can even run the pull command first and then you can create the docker now you can see here it has downloaded the image it has created the stack and inside the images you can see here the hamdel image is here and inside the volume right now there is no volume because the volume is within the container itself so here if i go to containers you can see if i open my stack which is syncprix and this is the stack which is here if i go to syncprix you can see here in this particular stack it is running docker compose right now so right now this hamdel is running and if i try to open this i'll just click it here on my local host right now it is running and of course i need to instead of plain http i will be typing https and here you go so our first container has started running on our docker desktop environment so i'll add my first application here by typing in any application that is available right now for example i'll create syncprix website and here i'll use https syncprix.com all right so here is my icon syncprix website and save it so any web application any link that you want to have so this will be created here so item is created successfully and here we go so our first pin is right now available here which is syncprix website i can of course click it and it will open the website here we use the docker compose to create our first container here now in case i want to add another container here so i'll show you that in next video